and welcome to this week's edition of Jumbo Athletes of the Week. I'm Paul Sweeney, Director of Athletic Communications at Tufts. This is where we meet the Tufts student athletes who have performed exceptionally during the past week. And this week we have Molly La Liberty from the women's lacrosse team and Mac Bradle from men's lacrosse. We're going to bring in Molly first. She had a 788 save percentage in two games against Bates and Dartmouth. She stopped 26 of the 33 shots she faced. She allowed just seven goals in 120 minutes of play for a 3.60 goals against average. She had 11 saves against the Bobcats and 14 saves at Division I Dartmouth. Molly, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So first off, after a year without competition, how great has it been to be out there with your teammates playing games again? I think we're all just like really so thrilled to be back playing and playing together. I mean, I think especially in the NESCAC, we've seen so many teams who haven't had that opportunity. And I think this year especially has just really put into perspective how lucky we are to be like out on the field with each other every day. Um, plus, we all really like winning. So getting to compete and play games has just been like such a blast. For you personally, can you share with us how and why you became a goalie and what you think are the keys to your success? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not really sure why I became a goalie. I think a lot of people say that it's kind of crazy. Um, but I, I think I, I started in middle school when we were all just like taking turns and I had actually hurt my foot, so I couldn't run. So my coach made me play goalie. Um, and, and I ended up liking it. Um, as for keys to success, I think I've been super lucky um, throughout my time as a goalie. I've, I've had amazing um, defense in front of me. My teammates have just been phenomenal in high school and at Tufts especially. And then I've been really lucky um, throughout my entire career to have really supportive coaches who just have always been there to push me and support me in like the mental and physical parts of being a goalie. Now, Tufts will be hosting Wesleyan uh, in the NESCAC championship game on Saturday at Bellow Field. Uh, what will the Jumbo team need to do that day to be successful, in your opinion? Yeah, so we're super excited for that. Um, it sounds silly, but honestly, we just need to play our game. Um, the past two weekends and this past Sunday against Dartmouth especially, we really proved to ourselves like what we can do as a team. Um, on Saturday, we're really just going to have to go out there and, and play our game from the start. Like for us, it's just about going out there and having fun for 60 minutes. I think like I could go into all the details of like, oh, we need to communicate on defense or finish on attack. But if we're out there having fun, playing together and playing our game, those things really just come naturally. And then lastly, Molly, can you share with us what you're studying academically at Tufts and what else you might do off the field? Sure. Um, I am majoring in psychology and in English, and I'm also minoring in Spanish. Um, I'm hoping to pursue a career in contracts or law or maybe business. Um, and then off the field, one thing that I'm um, that I have going on off the field right now is our team has been involved with a program called Harlem Lacrosse. And throughout the fall semester, we tutored some of their players. Um, that it was something I, I really enjoyed doing. So I've stayed connected with the um, with one of the program directors and um, I am I just started mentoring one of the goalies on their team. So I'm really excited to keep doing that and just stay involved with that program. That's great. Well, well, thank you very much for joining us, Molly, and congrats again on your achievement. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. And now we'll bring in Mac, who scored 19 points in two games over the weekend against Bates and Dartmouth. He had 16 assists combined in the games and scored three goals. Mac, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. So it was a big weekend for the team, obviously. Uh, you set the goals record again at Bates, and then you won at Division I Dartmouth. Uh, you know, we're only two-plus weeks into the competitive season of 2021. Uh, do you guys feel like you're clicking on all cylinders or is there still some improvements that can be made? Um, I think, you know, we're, we're definitely playing uh, good lacrosse, um, but there's definitely uh, a lot of room for improvement. Um, you know, it's it may not be easy to say that with the results that we've gotten, 
um, but we know from day in day out at practice, um, there's a lot, a lot for us to work on. Um, so I, I definitely think that we're playing well, um, and there's a lot of good things to, to look at and, and look back on. But but there's definitely um, a lot of room for improvement, and we know we're, we're not really where we need to be um, come May. Um, so there's definitely a lot of room for improvement. So I'm interested in in your philosophy when you have the ball in your stick. Um, you know, are you looking to distribute first or are you just taking what's given to you? Um, no, not, I'm not necessarily looking to distribute first. Um, we always say as a team, when the ball's in your stick, you're, you're trying to score. Um, but I think our, our coaches do a great job of trying to keep it simple for us. Um, and, and my teammates do an awesome job of getting open when, when I have the ball. Um, so, so if two guys are coming to me, those guys make it so simple to, to find one of those guys and, and they'll do the rest from there. Um, so I, I think when I have the ball on my stick, I'm always trying to go to the net and score. If, and if no one comes and stops me, I'll do that. Um, but with, with my great teammates and, and great coaches, it makes it really easy for me to kind of just see what's in front of you, um, make the simple pass. Uh, and those guys do the rest of the work. So Mac, in the fall, you're on the golf team. Obviously your focus is on lacrosse right now, but uh, the golf team on Sunday had a good performance in the NESCAC event, winning that, and it's part of the NESCAC championship. So they're leading after one day going into the second weekend. Obviously uh, you were at Dartmouth on Sunday, but once that was wrapped up, were you looking at the golf results? Did you reach out to any of those guys? What did you think about that performance? Yeah, that was awesome. Um, I definitely, definitely talked to a bunch of those guys and reached out, was definitely looking in, I'm excited to see the results. Um, we had a freshman go out and shoot two under, um, which was awesome to see. Um, so I definitely was uh, keeping track of that. Um, and they know they have another day to go. So, you know, the, the job's not finished, but it was awesome to see that they got off to a good start. I um, mean, I definitely keep tabs with those guys and check in on how they're doing a lot. And then lastly, Matt, can you share with us what you're studying at Tufts? And obviously you're busy playing two sports, but do you have anything else going on off the field? Um, I'm studying economics, uh, minoring in finance. Um, right now, uh, with COVID especially, there's not much going on. Um, so for me right now, it's kind of a lot of school, a lot of lacrosse. I'm trying to stay focused on those two things. Um, spend some time with the guys on the team, spend some time with the guys on the team. But for the most part for us, we're trying to stay focused on, on school and lacrosse um, for a few more weeks here because May is right around the corner and that's when we want to be playing our best. So not too much. Well, thank you very much, Mac, and congrats on your achievement. Thank you very much. And thanks again for having me. That's our Jumbo Athletes of the Week feature for this week. Thanks for watching. Join us next week.